What's going on YouTube? We're back for another shoe review. You guys actually love these videos more than you like my weightlifting content. But if you are new here, don't forget that my channel is littered with loads of great information on how you can improve your Olympic weightlifting. But the reason why we're here today is to review probably the hottest shoe that has ever hit CrossFit. It is known as the Rad One. Now, I absolutely love this because the guys that develop this company are based from the UK, which is absolutely sick. It probably is one of the key reasons why the quality of this shoe is unreal and why I think they've made such a stir in the CrossFit community of what they've done. They've really brought something that I love about trainers to the CrossFit world, which is hype. Now, I've never seen a shoe in the CrossFit or the fitness space before that is purely based around performance be as hard to get hold of as these things are. Not only that, but they are actually only available to be shopped on in USA and the UK at the moment. So we are here in sunny Australia. I've managed to get a pair of these on the drop that they did with the Wad Life, which was the first time they've ever released them in Australia, um, which I was so grateful for. But other than that, the other pair that I do have that are still on the way, I had to purchase in the UK and then get them shipped over here so I can have them in Australia. So basically what Rad do is every single month, I think they drop a new colorway of the shoe. And once the colorway of the shoe is gone, it's gone. I think this is probably one of the coolest ones that people would have liked because for all our plain Jane's basic bitches, the triple black is where it's at, okay? So first impressions of this shoe. Now I've worn these a lot, so don't think that they come looking this worn. I wanted to really give these an absolute blast before I did the review for you. But these shoes from an appearance point of view, the look, the style, I absolutely love. But when we were talking about Rad at the gym, just trying to get other people's opinions on it, a lot of guys really like the look of this shoe and a lot of the girls at the gym were like, nah, don't like the look of these. But for me, incredible. So much so that for me, since I've had these shoes, which is about three or four months now, it is the only shoe that I've pretty much worn. And I think that goes to say something because at the end of the day, Rad have not paid me to do this video. I like to do all of my shoe review videos from the heart. So you guys get a genuine opinion of what I think. So you'll notice how it's got a really nice breathable panel here in the middle. That's nice. It's good when you're training in them, sweating, your feet don't get too sticky or wet uh, when you're in them. It also has this like suede detailing around the shoe, which I think gives it that kind of feel and look of luxury, which is cool. Another thing for me that's really important when I'm looking at a good training shoe, specifically for CrossFit or functional fitness, which is kind of what I've been using this for, and I'll get onto a little bit more later in this video about what it's like to lift in, but I really like the fact that this has got a load of range of motion in it or flexibility in it, if you like. It springs back into shape every single time you push down it, which is brilliant. And then when it comes to the laces of these shoes, really high quality. High quality laces are extremely important in a CrossFit or fitness shoe for me because what you don't want to happen halfway through a workout is these laces to come undone. Now, when I first purchased these shoes and I got them, they come like sort of already tied. I did not need to retie those shoes for like literally the first three months, which is which is sick. So really high quality laces. I like the fact that they have the high eyelet as well. Even though I've got cankles, they're still super comfy around the front. In terms of the tongue thickness, it's a nice thickness. It's not too thin or too thick. Some of the Nano X's, for example, super thick tongue, which is kind of a little bit overkill. And then for some of the Nikes, super thin tongue and that rips super easy. In terms of the sole, super grippy sole. I would say in terms of wearing this shoe, it is absolutely incredibly comfortable and the sole's great, but I would say it is a tiny little bit too soft to train in. Reason why I say that is because when I've lifted in this shoe in particular, I feel it being a little bit spongy when I'm squatting in it or when I'm lifting heavy and I think upwards of 150 kilos, which isn't gonna be an issue for a lot of people, but for me that is, and it did feel a little bit spongy in the sole, but I think for what you lose in stability, it makes up tenfold 
in comfort. So next up, I want to talk about the heel height. I know that's something that a lot of people want to discuss when it comes to a shoe that potentially you're going to be lifting in. There's very minimal heel in these shoes at all. It's nothing that you would say is noticeable when you're squatting and lifting. So I would not put this shoe on if you're thinking, oh, I want these because they're going to help elevate my heel to make my mobility better. No, you need to do the mobility manual if that's what you're looking for. The other thing when it comes to heel that a lot of people look for and a lot of shoes have an offensive spike coming out to help you with handstand push-ups or something like that. What Rad have decided to do, and I'm not sure if this is intentional, but they've used their slightly harder compound rubber at the back here, which would slide very well down a wall, which I think is great. And I think it doesn't, like I said, oppose the look of the shoe at all. So there's just a little harder bit here at the back so that it would slide down for anyone that does want that nice smooth sliding for the handstand push-up. Next up we want to talk about is the material of these shoes in a little bit more detail. Now, I've never seen suede on a CrossFit shoe before, which I think is super clutch. They've used different materials really well in this shoe, so that even for a completely black shoe, it's got a really cool design. Now, when you notice the, the suede bit goes right down through the middle and runs around the toe, and then is also featured around the back of the shoe. Like I said, I've worn these a lot and it hasn't worn out at all. You'll next notice a little bit of, I guess, plasticky uh, material here. It's not super hard, but again, gives a nice sheen to the shoe, especially when you're looking down on top of them. And then finally, the inner bit of material here is a, a really nice breathable material. Small details of the shoe that I really like is just the placements of their logo. They've kept this really subtle, which I think is nice. You'll just see the Rad logo that's featured kind of on the front of the shoe here, and then again in slightly bigger on the back, and it's kind of like embossed onto there, which is really nice and then it just finally features on the front of the tongue there, Rad One. None of these logos have even slightly started to come off, which again says something about the build quality. I do want to pull out the inner sole because that's something that's always super important for me. What we will notice here, this is the first time I've done this, is this inner sole is super thin. Now, I would not have expected a shoe that is this thick to have such a thin inner sole in it. And to be honest, I've never even pulled it out to have noticed. So here's an idea. Potentially, if they were to put a slightly firmer inner sole in it, like what you would see in an Olympic lifting shoe, maybe it would give it that extra bit of stability and support they would kind of need. Other thing that I want you to notice about this shoe, and I've walked thousands and thousands of miles in these shoes already, is that they're still in great condition in terms of shape. The only thing that I would say that I noticed, and this could be because I went half a size down or not, but if you look closely on the inside of these shoes, and they're only, like I said, four, three or four months old, I've actually started to wear through the back of them. I think it's good for people to know that, that these will eventually wear out, but they're such a great shoe that I've literally worn them every day and would buy another pair. So I don't know if that was tactical from Rad to make you go and buy another pair, but they are starting to wear through a little bit in the back in, in that thin material. Coming on a little bit more into what these shoes were like to lift in, Initially, the first session I did with these was when it came to lifting was squatting. When I was in my squatting stance with these shoes, when I was hitting kind of the bottom position, they kind of felt, like I said, spongy in the heel. But I have done power cleans and power snatches and stuff in them, and they're absolutely fine for a lighter weight. But I would not say that these shoes are the shoes that you'd wear if you're doing submaximal squat and you like squatting in flat shoes, or you're going for a max snatch or clean and jerk. But at the end of the day, these shoes aren't designed to be weightlifting shoes. They're designed to be functional fitness and crossfit shoes, which I think they absolutely serve the purpose so well with what they are. In terms of the weight of these shoes, I'd say they're pretty lightweight, but not like featherweight. They still feel extremely high quality in the hand, but they're not overly heavy at all. The one thing I'd notice about the inside of these shoes, and I'm not a crossfitter, but uh, so I'm definitely not doing any rope climbs. The inside of these shoes on a lot of other CrossFit shoes would have had a much higher rubber paneling here for rope climbs. This is a much narrower section. I'm not sure if that affects the performance on the rope climb or not, but either way, it's still shaped on the inside edges probably to help with that. For me, like I said, I'd much rather it look like this and not have a huge rubber panel on the inside, even if it did affect the performance. I'm just a massive fan of these and they probably will be the only shoe that I will wear now when it comes to doing any of my functional fitness training, whether that be a wad, an EMOM, or any light lifting. And not only that, for a shoe that you could wear into a pub and people won't go, why is that guy wearing nanos? <laughs> You could definitely wear these out as a, as a cool trainer, start up some fashion wear, and it looked absolutely sick. So I think on that side of things, again, they've nailed it. 
Final thing, the hype. Again, I just want to reiterate what the brand is doing that's so cool is the fact that these shoes, once they make a pair, you can't get another another pair in that colorway, which is great. I love having things that are hard to get hold of or a little bit more exclusive, and I really think that helps people buy into the brand. I think the people that they've got on board with Rad as well in terms of their athletes are also really cool athletes with great personalities like DBE, like I'm not even a, a massive CrossFit frother, but she seems like a super cool person. I'd love to see these shoes continue to be developed and more colorways come of them. Potentially a waterproof version of them would be cool too, because this suede potentially won't last if you're wearing in the rain. But other than that, you've absolutely nailed it. Maybe rad, next step for you guys would be to produce a weightlifting shoe because I definitely think you've got the tech and the brand and the coolness to, to go ahead and do that. The Romelio 2, which everyone loves. If you haven't seen my review of the Romelio 2 or the Romelio 4 even, go and check that out on my YouTube channel. But there's never been a competitor to that shoe. And I think if you guys made a weightlifting shoe, and this is me calling you out, let's do it together. Made a weightlifting shoe, I think that'd be absolutely hectic and a great addition to anyone's wardrobe. So final scoring of these shoes, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. The only reason why I would not give them a 10 is because there has been wearing in these at the moment. But other than that, absolutely incredible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you are thinking about Rad and buying a pair of shoes, their price point's great and I'd 100% recommend you guys getting your hands on a pair of these and then sticking to them and filling out your collection with loads of different colorways. So if you like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to do some more shoe reviews for you. If there's any other shoes that you'd love me to do a review on, then please just stick it in the comments, and I'll be happy to do it.